Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do a disassembly first impressions <clears throat> of the Wii Knives Eidolon. So, I just got this. I don't know if you've seen the unboxing by now. I'm sure you have because I'm showing you the first impressions, idiot. Um, let's see. Close this up. You get all the Wii stuff, you know how it is. And come on, get back in there. I hate that shit when it sits on that flap in there. So annoying, dude. It makes me want to just scream something. There we go. Not really, but okay. All right, we idle on front flipper, top flipper, really. Justin Lundquist design, 20 CV integral. G10 integral, actually. Check that out. Very nice G10, I will say. Dead centered. I'm just struggling with the uh, deployment as a lefty. Just in general, because it's so small. It's kind of a struggle. Actually, I, you know what I didn't think of? <clears throat> it's a integral, so how do I do a reassembly? That's why the pivot's so big. Because you'll see. Anyway, yeah, it, the action's good for its size and everything. I'm sure once I get some KPL in there and everything, it'll get better. But you basically are limited to this. You know, doing a top flip like that with your index finger, um, which works really well. But, like, I don't know. That would get old for me. It does have a deep carry clip, which is dope. Um, I've already posted this for sale, but it hadn't sold yet. So I figured, screw it. I'll take it apart. Um and it's been a day or so, so I don't think it's going to sell on that listing. I'll have to re relist it. Or if one of you guys wants it and it's not sold yet, let me know. These go for like 185 new. This is the black G10 with drop point. Nice hollow grind right here. Um, <clears throat> Stonewash blade. Um, I would sell it for, I don't know, 140 You know? So you save some money there. It's brand new. Um assuming i get it back together yeah that's pretty cool look at that the um oh this liner comes out this is gonna be interesting let's get in here all right t8 yeah i totally forgot it was an integral but the pivot screw is so big because you could pull the uh bearing out of there watch oh yeah hold on see that little pin I think this comes out, this G10 thing. Now I'm curious how this works. Okay. This might not come apart, guys. I'm going to use something that's not very... Yeah. All right. Yeah, so the pivot doesn't want to go through easily. See, I thought that would come out, and then there'd be a piece to come out, and then that's the stop pin right there, I think, that rides through there, and then, oh, geez, look at that, drop shut, nice. Um, yep, see the stop pin in there? I don't know if you can see it, but that's what's in there. I just can't figure out how you would get it apart without, I don't want to shove the pivot through with something really i mean i could i'm just thinking getting it back together might not be as easy as i think you see that liner it's only on the one side so my theory was that whole thing comes out or something i don't know they must have placed it in there to make it a liner lock right very interesting that they're selling this for 185 like that right i might just give up let me try one thing Especially since I'm selling it, I don't really need to jack around with it too much. You see, it's not really wanting to move at all, that pivot. Usually if I disengage a little bit and push through, it'll come out, but it just does not want to come out. My guess is this piece does come out somehow, but I don't know how you would wedge it out. And I don't want to be sitting here jacking it up. So I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to put the pivot back in. Pivot screw, sorry. 
So, never mind, it did not get taken apart. <laughs> eh. So make sure it's centered again. Blade play. Eh. I'm gonna get a little more room. I don't feel any. Oh, look at that. Centering. Dead nuts. So let's put a little heavy on there. A little detent ball right there. Bang, got you, baby. Oh yeah, you can feel it smoothing out. Man, that KPL Heavy just does such good work on a detent ball, guys. I think it also helps it like wear in on the steel, so it gets just smoother and smoother. Now this thing's never gonna be drop shut. I mean, look at it. Look how light this blade is, but it just got ultra smooth though, which is really nice. I could try to put a couple dots of original in here but i gotta be careful i don't want to put too much like that see that it just starts dripping out that's one of the reasons i'm actually glad he's going to redesign the bottle now because that won't happen uh, well hopefully but i mean it's definitely a good bottle but it's it's not perfect so like i said i'm actually glad the way that whole thing went KPL is now going to um, create their own bottle. Wow, yeah, this is really smoothing out. Not that it was not smooth, but um, I don't know. It just feels really good now. The power of the KP schnizzles. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I did say something wrong in the unboxing. I said that they had a double edge, ver a dagger version. And the reason I hate daggers is because you can't hold it like this. Well, I found out afterwards that the dagger is actually single edge. So it looks like a double edge dagger, but there's no edge on this one. So you could hold it like this. Um, so I was wrong about that, but it, that also seems dumb to me. So like, not only are you now getting a dagger shape, but it's not doing anything different than this like maybe you get a little more penetration because of the, d the dagger design but not having the double edge kind of defeats the purpose right i don't know that's my theory on it but <clears throat> i guess this is going to be short because i couldn't take it apart i apologize for that it's just going to be a first impressions um i do really like the integral design um that is so cool that they pulled that off and for 185 bucks to do all of that milling, stick a liner in there, um, the pivot design, deep carry clip, 20 CV steel. Um, that's impressive, guys. It really is. I wonder how much the carbon fiber one costs because that's extremely impressive if it's under 200 bucks for the carbon fiber one. Um, if you've never had an integral, I mean, seriously, this is so cool. Um, it is a very light blade, so you see there it drops real slow, and you got to shake it down. It's extremely smooth. Uh, I'm getting used to this this flipper. I mean, it's really like made for this, I guess. Um, I don't think it's made to be bigger, lighter flipped, because it just feels awkward in your hand. Maybe if you have a tiny hand, but that just feels weird. Um, this feels way more comfortable like that. Um, so that's cool. Uh, size comparison. I'll get some front flippers out. <clears throat> uh, one of my favorites right now is the Pena Lanny's clip. You'll see here, this is harder for me. Especially because if I have anything on my fingers, this jumping, I almost feel like my fingers have sanded it down. Maybe I need to just like file it out with something. Oh yeah, look at that. Ew, is that just like dead skin? 
Holy cow. This is gross yet, like, satisfying. Hang on, I need something better. Let me grab this guy. Guys, I honestly think this is all my skin. That's disgusting. It's just like pushing out. That is so gross. So weird, too. I mean, it makes sense, obviously. Try it now and see if that somehow made it better. <laughs> Dude, okay, I've been wondering lately, like, why it feels like <clears throat> I couldn't flip it. It was hard to get any bite on that jimping. It's so disgusting. Your finger, your DNA just gets embedded in there. I'm going to have to do a more thorough job of that, but that's interesting to think about on a front flipper. So the same thing is going to happen here probably, right? Oh shit, is it already happening? Hang on. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It could just be the coloring on there. But it has good bite, and the detent's pretty light because, look, it's all encased. So, like... No, it doesn't come out. But, like, it doesn't need to be strong because nothing's going to accidentally open it really, right? And it just whips out like that. Anyway, Jesus. Um, the Pena X-Series Lanny's clip um, is right here. A more uh, size comparable one is the... Um, also, we made Shamweary, which should I check that one too? I don't know. Love this knife, guys. Fantastic. I love both of these very much. Um, there you go. Pretty good size comparison on that one, right? Uh, let me take this one out. And then I have... This one's a bit bigger, but this is the Trevor Burger LEXK CFL. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. See there. So, those are my front flippers. But yeah, so um, we does a good job with front flippers, I found. So um, yeah, I don't have much else to say about it. It's just a little guy. Um, it's not really for me. It's a little chunky and I hate G10 and it's just really small and it's not that fidgety for me. I think for somebody who loves doing that top flip, um, it'll be really nice. So um yeah, anyway, this isn't a sales video. It's a first impressions. I may do the full review if it doesn't sell, obviously, but I'm going to try not to carry it much because I'm trying to sell it. It'll probably just show up in a sale video at some point with some other knives that aren't just being sold immediately. Like, for some reason, when I post them, people aren't jumping on them. Um, so I'll probably do a video with a bunch of knives. And this will be in there. But that is the Wee Knives Eidolon. Pardon my voice. I'm still sick. And um, yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.